Hello everyone, I'm Shem Pasari and welcome to ASN Academy. So as you can see from the title of this video, in this video we'll solve another good question from the topic of number system and the question has been taken from CAT 2024 slot 2. Now the question is as follows, when 3 raised to the power 333 is divided by 11, the remainder is, and we have provided 4 options for this question, option A1, option B10, option C6 and option D5. So this was our question and I would like you to try this question first by yourself and then come back to the video for the solution. So according to our given question, we are asked that when 3 raised to the power 333 is divided by 11, the remainder is. So what we have to find is, what is the remainder when 3 raised to the power 333 is divided by 11. Now the best method to approach this question is as follows. What is the remainder when 3 raised to the power 1 is divided by 11? The remainder is 3. Then 3 raised to the power 2 when divided by 11, the remainder is 9. When 3 raised to the power 3, that is 27, is divided by 11, the remainder is 5. When 3 raised to the power 4, that is equal to 81, when it is divided by 11, the remainder is 4. And when 3 raised to the power 5, that is equal to 243, when it is divided by 11, the remainder is 1. So we have got our magic number, that is 1. And now we can replace everything in terms of 3 raised to the power 5. So what I can write is 333 is nothing but 3 plus 5 into 66. So if you calculate it, it is coming as 333. So what I can write it as 3 raised to the power 333 as 3 raised to the power 3 into 3 raised to the power 5 whole raised to the power 66 divided by 11. So we know that 3 raised to the power 5 when divided by 11 gives the remainder of 1 and 1 raised to the power any power is 1 itself. So we can say that the remainder is when 3 raised to the power 3 is divided by 11. Now we just got that it is 5. So we can simply say that when 3 raised to the power 333 is divided by 11, the remainder will be 5. So this is the easiest way to approach such questions. What you do is you list all the powers and try to find either the number 1 or the number minus 1 and then you will get the answer very simply. So if you find the number 1 very easily, then it will be solved soon. But if you are finding it difficult to find the number 1, then try to use these numbers and make the number smaller and then you can find the remainder easily. So according to our given question, our answer is option number D, 5. 